Heads up! Because on this episode of World Twilight Gopher, we are headed back to New Jersey, and we're going to Hamilton. And we'll be going to the blueberry capital of the world, and we're looking at Pine Lands Golf Club. And there's a lot to like about this 18-hole golf course located in, again, Hamilton, New Jersey. Now, it's about a 50-minute drive from Philadelphia, the uh, International Airport of Philadelphia. Now, the course is located in the heart of the Pine Barrens, and it has some history. Um, here's an aerial view of the course. It's also located near a lake called the Blue Hole, which is interesting in itself. Uh, it opened in 1964, was when the ribbon was cut, at Pinelands Golf Club for an 18-hole championship golf course. It was designed by Ralph Leopardi, and he oversaw the construction and became the first superintendent at Pinelands Golf Club. Now, he has some rich history in golf. He was at 17 years as the superintendent at Atlantic City Country Club. Now, it's noted here on the website that Ralph was ahead of his time. Uh, in opening the course in 1964, he discussed how he designed uh, privacy between the fairways to speed up play and keep the balls out of distancing fairways. So those times where you're in a fairway, the ball hits you. It's not really the case here. And I can tell you that that's probably going to happen because if you hit that ball near those trees, you're not going to get close to the next hole. Now, it looks like the course was owned up to 2002 from the Di Donato family, and there's a lot of neglect. Now, I played the course before then, and it wasn't as nice as when I played it here in this footage. It's well worth the rate this course i believe on a friday and saturday it was only 50 bucks to play with the cart and it was a pretty reasonable time that we played i think we got out at about 11 o'clock played with some friendly people uh it was a great time getting out there in the golf course that day now when the course was taken over by the new ownership it was uh it looked like our golf architect stephen k really jumped in and, and revised this golf course into its original design um and added a couple of little modern day touches and most notably, one of them is this par three right here. You can see on that left-hand side, there's a sprinkler. There's a little thing of water there. If you hit it, it's going to go right into this water. You'll lose it. You had no idea it's there, and it's not that big. I wish I got some more footage of that, but I don't. So it, I tell you what, the course does play pretty long, and you're going to have to hit it straight. But the scorecard's a little deceiving because it, it only plays 6,281 yards from the championship tees. When we played, we played from the championship tees because the tee boxes, there wasn't that many tee boxes to choose from in comparison to other golf courses in the area. One of the notes I will make about this golf course is on their website, it has awards. And I was clicked on it just to kind of see if they wanted any awards maybe for South Jersey. That was not the case. The awards are for hole-in-ones on the golf club. So if you got a hole-in-one, I would recommend that you let them know and you'll be on their website. So it'll be a carbon fiber footprint of your hole in one. Now, if you want some reviews of this golf course, it's a four It's a four out of five, uh, according to Google. Um, and on golf now, that's pretty consistent with a, maybe a little bit higher. It looked like it was about a four out of a 4.5 or something. And that's because there's money put into this golf course as of recently, and it's clearly shown in these videos. They also got a clubhouse and this uh, restaurant called the Twisted Tea, which has crazy things on the menu. Um, it's a good experience. Beer's a little bit expensive compared to other courses. Recommend to put some in your bag. Just get that over with early. Because it's absolutely not the type of golf course that's going to vent you going into it that you're bringing in a bunch of beers. Yeah, I would actually recommend you go in drunk to this course. Uh, it, 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 you're probably going to end up playing a little bit well. I wish I kind of did uh, looking back at it. But that's going to do it for this video. And make Keep sure you keep a lookout for more videos to come. This is World Twilight Golfer. Heads up!